Hi right, guys, this is my celluloid screens information video. I've done it for the previous two years, um, so I thought I'd carry it on. It's just to let you know what's on at my local horror film festival, um, and if you're around the areas, to pop in and check it out if you haven't already heard of it. Um, I'll start off with the opening gala, which is the Friday the 26th of October. At 7pm, we have the opening film. It's not really an horror film, it's more of a twisted dark comedy. It's called Sightseers, it's by the director of Kill List, Ben Wheatler, who's also going to be in attendance. I'll give you a synopsis on this and then I'll show you the artwork for it. The synopsis is, Chris wants to show girlfriend Tina his world, but events soon conspire against the couple and their dream holiday takes a very wrong turn. This is also going to be also going to be showed um, with the short film Certified, which it will be its UK premiere of that short. So here's the artwork, and then I'll talk more about the next film. At nine thirty, we have the new cut and restoration of Nightbreed. Um, also, we've got the short film Adokuru. Um I'm not going to tell you the synopsis of Nightbreed because I'm sure you've all seen it. But it's the Cabal Cut, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's new work prints being added with other things what they've found recently. And they've cleaned it all up and made it look fantastic, I've heard. Um, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be nice to see that one. Then we start early on the 27th of October on the Saturday. Um, we start at half past 10 and probably with a fucking bang because it's Astron 6's flick, Mamborg. If you don't know who Astron 6 are, you've probably heard of their recent film Father's Day, which I thought was amazing. Astron 6 are a collective group of filmmakers um, and yeah, they've got connections with trauma. They did the trauma release of Father's Day. Um, this isn't a trauma release. But you can tell that it's going to be kick-ass. It only runs for 60 minutes, I think. Not too sure on that, but I think it does. I'll give you the synopsis on it. A soldier killed in battle is brought back to life as a cyborg to fight alongside a band of adventurers against demon hordes in a dystopian future. This is like an homage to all the 80s and early 90s cyborg, robotic, sci-fi films. Um, obviously it's got horror elements in it, but yeah, uh, it's a it's an homage, um, so hopefully it's pretty good. It's going to be shown with the shorts Zombie Chick 3D, which I've also heard the 3D glasses have also arrived at celluloid screen, so we'll all be able to watch it in um, the old school uh, 3D glasses that give you the headache, but it'll still be cool, it's only a short. And also Metal Creepers. Then at 12.05pm we've got Dario Argento's Opera. Um, I'm not too stoked about seeing Opera. I will sit through it. I've seen it before. Um, I do feel like the um, celluloid shows a little bit too much of Dario Argento. Don't get me wrong. I really like him. But they do go with a lot of filmmakers that make homages to him and they also show his films i watched a bird with a uh, the bird with the crystal plumage um a couple of years back um and it's cool it's nostalgic but i'd have much rather seen a fun 80s film like return of the living dead or something like that i thought that would have been awesome um this is also shown with the short yellow which i think it's a giallo german giallo i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure about that um, so I'll get back to you if I'm wrong. Then at 2.40pm we have Into the, Abe Into the Abyss, the savage cinema of Dennis and Romalo. Um, it's a short film retrospective. I've never been to one of these. There were one a couple of years back with Robert Morgan's retrospective, but I missed that. Um, it's also followed by a QA, and a I think, with Dennis and Romalo. I'm not 100% sure, but obviously... Uh, he's going to know the most about his films, so if they're going to do a Q and a then they'd have to get him. So I would I would imagine that he's going to be there. Um, so yeah, I've never been to one. I don't know what it's about. I don't know if it's a collection of his short films or there's a little bit of a documentary aspect to it. 
Not quite sure. At 4.20pm we have the Andeld Horror Anthology VHS which I've already seen. I'm not going to give you my views on it because I don't want to spoil it for anybody that's going to be excited or don't know what they're going to, going to see. Um, I'll just give you the synopsis on it. A crew of misfits are hired by an unknown third party to break into an old house to retrieve a specific VHS tape. But this seemingly simple task gets complicated when they discover a corpse in front of a bank of monitors and a mountain of tapes to sift through. As the, group, as the group check the tapes to identify the right one, a series of stories unfold. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. I'm not talking no more about um, VHS. So on to the next films. Next up at 7.20pm is the UK premiere of Cell Count, followed by a Q&A with the director, Toddy Freeman. I've been speaking to Tom the last couple of days um, while he flies all over the world to different festivals. He's actually in Catalonia at the minute, doing one in Spain. Um, so, yeah, um, it's pretty cool. He's going to be handing flyers out, well, uh, postcards, hopefully signing them, um, T-shirts and posters. Tom Hodge, dude's design, is also going to be there. He did the poster for this. He did the artwork for the film. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, they're also going to be showing um, The Captured Bird, which is a short alongside this film. The synopsis on this is, Russell Carpenter reluctantly admits his wife Sadie into an experimental treatment facility for a life-threatening disease. While locked in this prison-like surrounding, they, along with six others, are unknowingly subjected to a cure that might be worse than the disease itself. Now, I have heard this as a Cronenbergian type tale, um, which can only be good. Everybody likes David Cronenberg's older films, um, so hopefully um, we're going to have a real good film on his hands there. Um, I'll show you the artwork now, and then on to the next film. Then at 9.45pm we have the secret film, now he's done one every year, this secret film. Um, last year's wasn't a really good hit, it was Snowtown, which it was the last film of the um, festival. And it's a really downbeat film, um, I think they would have, I think I'd have preferred Inbred or something like that, that, that year. I hope that it's, um, it's a more... Well, I, I don't mind downbeat films, but I hope that it's, it has a big impact on the crowd instead of people like shrugging the shoulders this year. So hopefully, I know a few people are wanting Maniac remake. Um, I do also, but I, I don't. I ain't got a clue what it's gonna be. There's also the short 3 a.m. and Familiar being shown, um, probably before the um, secret film. So fingers crossed. Let's hope that it's a good one this year. Then the last showing of the night is the Chilean film Hidden in the Woods at Midnight. This is one of the films that I'm really looking forward to. It's based on the true events and I've heard it's really disturbing. I'll give you the synopsis on this. Sisters Anna and Annie have enjoyed a horrific life of forced captivity at the hands of their abusive drug dealing father. But when the girls finally expose his crimes to the authorities, they go on the run into the depths of the forest. Meanwhile, with his dealer incarcerated and unable to reveal the whereabouts of the rest of his stash, uninjured drug lord Costello dispatches his band of equally psychopathic henchmen to recover the merchandise, believing fully that Anna and Annie hold the key to its location. With a world view and life experience that begins and ends at their front door, they must fight to overcome their aggressors to finally escape their torturous situation. So yeah, it's, I, I always like these foreign ones that he picks out. None of the other festivals seem to pick them up. And then we get them and nearly everyone that I've seen has been amazing over the years that I've been going to Celluloid Screams. So um, I'm looking forward to them again. He always seems to hit the mark with the foreign obscure ones that none of the other festivals pick up. Um, the short film The Other Side is also being shown alongside this film. So... Hopefully that'll be pretty cool too. So that finishes off the Saturday night. I'm going to do 
the Sunday in a part two video. Thanks, guys.